and the last hunter left standing joins the great hunt. Simple as that. All weapons are allowed, but you fight alone. No assistance. And it looks like we have a latecomer. I just like to make a big entrance. Coming back from the dead is a big entrance, all right. Huntmaster, will you do us the honor? We all heard tales of your exploits, Hunter. Perhaps I'll turn them into a song to commemorate your death. I'll do the same. You prefer ballads or war chants? I prefer to win. I'd wish you luck, but it wouldn't help. So I'll just say goodbye. Enough! You hunters are the best that the galaxy's goons and thug lords could send us. Now show us which one of you will join the great hunt. Fight! show you put on. Blasted fun to watch. How do you feel, Hunter? I just stomp my competition into the dirt. I feel great. <laughs> Enjoy it. Things only get harder from here. <coughs> this is simply ridiculous. I mean, really. This needs to stop right now. Are we starting the hunt already? No! No! No unsanctioned kills in the Great Hunt! You see? That's a perfect example. I object to this farce. This ignorant thug does not deserve to enter the Great Hunt. Her credentials are a lie, fabricated by her little gutter rat of a sidekick. She deserves no honors. You lying, cheating, murdering scum! We know this hunter's history, blood. The Huntmaster has ruled. You fools! This is a place of honor, a competition of elites. Nandalore will hear of this. If you feel so strongly about it, fight the Huntmaster. Enough! Before this great hunt is over, I will have your skull in my hands. Well, the great hunt just got way more interesting. Sorry to interrupt, Huntmaster. Please continue. You get all that, Hunter? Maybe you want to sum it up for me? <sighs> all right, I'll try. But without the flowery stuff. You'll be hunting targets spread across the galaxy. There'll be at least one other hunter going for them, too. You not only have to take down your target, you have to eliminate the other hunters. That seems simple enough. Your handler, Krista, will fill you in on the rest of the details. She's waiting for you. Ration. 
The other handlers are all bug-eyed jealous you won. Now, on to the great hunt. I expect you want to hear about your targets. I wiped the floor with my competition back there. <laughs> I know. Snuck me a peek while it was happening. Good fun. Here's how it's gonna work. First, you're getting a starship. How's that going to happen? Well, let's just say you're not quite done here on Droman Kass. On your ship's computer, you'll access two holo recordings, both with specific details on who and where you hunt. View holo recordings, take out targets. Got it. Each target will have another hunter assigned to it. You have to locate that rival and take them out, too. Maybe we'll get lucky and Taro Blood will be on our first target. Now, about your ship, there's a tradition for new hunters. You've got to steal one for yourself. I can already tell this is gonna be a blast. That's what life is for a hunter. Now let's find you that perfect ship, yeah? Gotcha. I know one that belongs to one of them so-called importer types. Fast, smooth, and roomy. I'll pull together your holo recordings for the great hunt targets and transmit them when you hit space. Meantime, head to the spaceport. Get past whatever guards are around, steal your ship, and hit the hyperlanes. What's my destination? Your first round of targets are on Balmora and Narshada. Good luck to you, Hunter. Destination? Enjoy your stay.
All right, you disgusting pile of puke. Drop your weapon and kiss the floor. This is one starship that's not getting stolen on my watch. You hear me, scum? Can you repeat all that into this barrel? You filthy off-world virus. I've had three ships stolen this year by the Mandalorians and their unwashed cohorts. Of course, not all Mandalorians are bad. Taro Blood was nice enough to tell me about this little tradition of yours. I really need to kill that guy one of these days. Karagimi, Anikag Nikag. Kanyak Gak Akigwamjam. You heard the man? Get her! Rules or no rules, Taro Blood dies the next time we see him. Right? That scum is living on borrowed time. Oh, I hate this. 
I don't want to feel this way about anyone, but I just... I want to make him pay. Don't worry, Mako. It's gonna be all right. Don't get all mushy on me. I was just saying is all. We'd better get moving. We've got a great hunt to win, right? I am to the Orid, that totem droid for this vessel. You must be my new master. Gentle, kind new master. Your last master isn't coming back. Got a problem with that? Absolutely not. He called me unpleasant names and never bathed. Not that there is anything wrong with that master. I am programmed for a wide array of tasks, including but not limited to meal preparation, ship maintenance, janitorial duty, and etiquette. Welcome aboard this Kruid Drive Yard's D5 Mantis patrol craft. Its speed and firepower are unmatched by other vessels of its class. You'll find all of the standard amenities, including your own private captain's locker for storing valuables. The Astrogation Console contains a constantly updated map of the known galaxy. Interstellar communications are accessed via the ship's hot Priority alerts that you may find useful are available from the Imperial Holonet Console. Lastly, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to issue new orders. Any questions, Master? I have a mission to complete. Time to see what this ship can do. Goodness, you aren't deactivating me. I mean, good luck. I regret I am unable to offer you combat support, Master. Frankly, my chassis couldn't withstand the stress. However, should any errands arise that are beneath your superior status, please do not hesitate to call upon me. I function to serve you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on your bridge. It will program the proper astrogation coordinates and activate the engines.